Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. I'm Steve. And I'm Gary. And uh, today we're going to have a little talk about your monitor. Um, everybody's monitor is a little bit different. You can go to the store and buy one. Sometimes they're attached to your computer when you get it. But either way, the color is never exactly the same for all of them. And you know, sometimes the only way you can fix that is to try to make an adjustment. And I know that I, you know, I prefer to do that and, and I'm sure Steve does with his photography. Right, the way I make my adjustments is I actually have a little tool, a little calibration tool that I bought that I could put on the monitor, it goes through this big to-do and uh, goes through all these little different screens and I get a nice calibrated monitor and I, all my colors are just perfect, but that's because I'm doing photography stuff. If you just want to kind of dial it in a little bit more, there's a free way you can do it and Windows has it actually built in. So that's what we're going to show you today, how to run the calibration tool in Windows 7 and make your monitor more true. We're going to turn to the computer right now and show you how it goes. Okay, the first step here is to get into our calibration screen. We go to the search box here on Windows 7 and just type in dccw.exe and hit enter. This is going to bring up our Windows calibration screen. It's going to give you a little bit of information. There's uh, additional instructions right here if you'd like to click them under how do I calibrate my display. We're just going to go through this kind of quick here though just to show you, you know, exactly what you need to do. So down here is the next button. We're going to hit that. It says uh, to get started um, you're going to want to have your monitor set to its default settings. Now you're going to have to do this through the monitor's own buttons. You're going to find some buttons usually on the bottom side. Um, they're sometimes in the back, but the, the monitor buttons are, themselves are going to display the monitor's own contrast and uh, default settings and that. You basically want to have your uh, monitor set up for the factory default color settings. It's, you know, if it's not, it's not the end of the world because there's a lot of uh, play in the color settings on this particular computer so, or on this particular uh, calibration system. So. Uh, so let's assume that you have your uh, monitor set at its defaults. We're going to hit next. And the first thing we're going to do is adjust gamma. Now this is something that we're going to do right from the next screen. The first screen here, is, and you're going to find this with a lot of these, it's going to give you some samples of what it should look like. For the good gamma, you notice there's no little dots in there, and the background's not too dark and it's not too light. So let's hit the next screen. And you can see that we have little dots here. And this is a little off, so we're going to go ahead and drag the slider until those little dots disappear. And that's looking pretty good right about there. Now we can go up here and you can see, you know, there it's getting a little light. Basically I want those dots to be more or less gone and that's where we are right down here. So go ahead and hit next. And the next step is going to be the brightness and contrast adjustment. Now this is something you are going to need to adjust on your display itself, on your monitor. Again, using the little buttons that are on the monitor. Every single display is different. I'd love to give you advice on how to do this. Um, but unfortunately, your monitor is going to be different than mine, than everyone else's. But we'll just take a look at these screens real quick. Go ahead and hit the next button. And again, it's going to give us a, a little screen here that tells us you know, what it should look like, what's too dark, good brightness, and too bright. And go ahead and hit next. This is the picture that you'll actually use to adjust the brightness. Now what it's telling us is that we want to be able to distinguish the sh shirt from the suit and uh, in the background here. And if, you can and if you can see the difference there, then you have it set right. If you can't, then you need to go into your brightness settings on your display and either make it darker or lighter so you can see that. Then go ahead and hit next. And this screen is going to give us our contrast screen. And again, it's going to give you a quick little sample. There's too much contrast here. You can see all the whites are blown out on his shirt. This is too little. It looks very flat and there's just not enough contrast. And good contrast is right there in the middle. And that's what, that's what we're aiming for. Hit the next button. Now on this screen you can have our, there's our sample picture. And again, this is another one where you're going to use the monitor to, uh, I'm sorry, the monitor controls the little buttons on there to adjust your contrast and try to get this so that it looks pretty much like we have here. You can see the buttons, you can see the wrinkles and the details in the shirt, but you don't see a whole lot of areas that are too bright and too uh, washed out. All right, the next screen is going to be our actual color balance. Here's the, probably the real reason you're in here to get your color right. Now this is going to give you some more samples of what the color bar on the next screen is you know, going to look like if it's too red, too blue, too green, whatever. Let's go to the next screen. We'll take a look where ours is. And I can use these little sliders here. And as you can see, I can adjust way down and adjust back and forth. And what I'm going to try to do here is make this so that at least on my computer screen here, that the color is pretty neutral. I don't want to have any color cast to it. 
and that looks pretty close to me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now, if your monitor is not in calibration, you're watching this video, you might say, hey, that looks too red, too green. It's probably because you're not calibrated and you might need to run this, uh, this little wizard here. But this looks pretty good on our screen here, so I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And uh, they ask you if you want to compare it and then if, ask you if you want to start the clear type tuner. Probably you really don't need it. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it um, and just hit finish. And that does it. Now our screen looks a whole heck of a lot better than it did before we started the calibration. This is what this uh, wallpaper should have looked like in the first place. So uh, go ahead and give that a try if you want to get the absolute uh, most accurate color and best contrast uh, that you can do without having to spend a lot of money on it. So that's how it's done. Uh, it's real simple to do in Windows 7. Just open up the tool, make the adjustment to your monitor. It's going to make it so you're seeing very close to what everybody else is seeing when you're seeing colors and making sure that they're true. And that's about all we have for you today. Make sure you stop by worldstart.com and check out all the 5,000, 6,000, however many thousands of tips we have over there. Lots of great information for you. If you have a question, make sure you go to worldstart.com ask. We'd love to hear from you and uh, make sure you're on our computer tips newsletter we send that out every single weekday and it's just uh, full of all these great tips including these videos so make sure you sign up for that it's absolutely free thanks for watching